everyone. I am here repairing my Samsung refrigerator, which has been filling up the veggie and fruit trays with water. And what's happening is there's a, uh, an evaporator clip that is supposed to keep uh, an ice dam from forming and allow the, uh, the water to, to drain out the, the bottom of the panel here. And what's happening is it's freezing and backing up and then all that moisture finds its way into your fridge. So I'm just gonna go over the, uh, the tools for this real quick. Uh, screwdriver, and what you see here is actually a new uh, Samsung evaporator clip that I'm gonna be installing. Uh, the all important Revlon uh, hairdryer, you can use other brands too. And I've got a kettle of hot water and I'm using uh, this turkey baster to basically take hot water um, from, actually, let me show you the panel first. So this is the panel that was removed from the back. There's uh, there's one screw under a cover here and then two screws at the bottom. And once you get those two screws off, you have to be patient. And actually I use the hairdryer kind of around the perimeter of it because chances are you'll have ice frozen back there that holds the panel in place. Once all that ice melts, or it melts enough to, to be free of um, the back here, then the panel just pops right off. So there's a number, you can see little arrows here where it kind of clips into the back of the fridge. And once the panel pops off, I'll show you the other side here. You can see there's a couple wires here and those clip up or unclip from the top here. And once you do that, you can take out the whole panel and then I'll walk through the rest with you. So now that I've got the panel off and out of the way, what I wanna show you is this is where the ice dam was forming. And you could actually chip away ice from this lower part. And what you see right there, that little silver piece, that's the factory clip that's supposed to defrost that ice and it doesn't do a very good job because lots of people are making these kinds of videos on YouTube and having the same issue. So what I did is ordered uh, this clip, which I think just basically gives more surface area um, to this heating element and transfers more heat into that um, hole where the water is theoretically supposed to drain. You can, it's a little hard to see with the lighting, but uh, that's a hole where the water is supposed to drain out of. Since it's all backed up with ice, what I'm doing is using this fancy turkey baster, I'm taking hot water, pouring it in there, and then basically just sucking the then cold water out and doing this over and over until eventually it's going to drain down. So now I'm adding hot water from my hot water kettle and letting that sit there for little bit, minute or two, and then extracting it. And I'll keep doing that until we get some clearance in the drain line. And then I'll show you the next steps from there. Okay, so after cycling through a bunch of hot water, which then cools off from the turkey baster, you can see um, actually the water's draining out now. So when I uh, pour a little bit of water in there, I wouldn't recommend pouring much because I think it just goes into a evaporation tray um, in the, the bottom of the fridge, um, so it could leak out further, but uh, you'll see the, the ice is all gone and it, water is actually flowing through there. So the next step is I'm gonna remove the factory clip, which is that little wire piece there. And I think I'm gonna carefully do that just um, with some um, wire snips and see if I can cut right through that. And then I'm gonna replace it with the new um, drain evaporator clip that uh, that I got for the fridge. Okay, so I've now uh, used some wire cutters to cut back the original clip and the bottom's kind of folded over just so I could kind of get it out of there and got some needle nose pliers, bent back the clip and it's just gonna pop right off there. So next up, I'm going to add the newer designed uh, evaporator drain clip and show you that. Okay, so now I have the replacement clip in, and as you can see, it's a lot wider than the original factory one, and it's a little tricky to see, but that fin there extends down into the drain hole, 
and these tabs on the side I'm going to be wrapping around the heating element uh, but I'm not going to try and do that while I'm filming and um, and then I'll be good to go on putting everything back together again. All right and so there you have it now I've got the little tabs on the side wrapped around the heating element and we are good to go on this. Okay, so we're all put back together again here, and I just wanted to point out the three screw locations uh, on our particular model, bottom right, bottom left, and the third one is right in this recess there, and you'll find that hidden under a little protective cover that just snaps back into place there. So that's it all put back together. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're taking this panel off, um, have patience and uh, go easy with the hairdryer on a low setting. You don't want to melt the plastic, uh, but just kind of work your way around the bottom. Uh, try to free it up. Some people just let it sit overnight for it to thaw and then the panel pops off. But if you try to get it off with the ice frozen behind it, it's really, really hard. Um, so if you're having any difficulty getting it off, it's probably due to ice behind it. Um, and uh, that's about all there is to this one. Pretty, pretty manageable job. Wish, uh, wish I didn't have to do it, but uh, hopefully that'll resolve the issue with water forming in our crisper trays and dripping down into the bottom of the fridge. Hope it works for you. And uh, if you have any feedback, leave them on the comments below. And don't forget to uh, visit our website. We'll have a step-by-step -step on this at homefixated.com. You can do a search in the, uh, the right-hand column for this article. And we also have some great tool reviews and products for around the home and construction tips, things like that. So look forward to seeing you there. Thanks so much.